Now, the Bible talks about this idea of confessing God. It says in the book of Romans that if, if we confess with our mouth that Jesus is Lord and we believe in our hearts that God raised him from the dead, that we would be saved. And I wanna be clear on this. Knowing God is not just saying a magical prayer and then you're done. You walk out of here and you never think about it again. It's a lifestyle. It's, again, Levi was our example for that. He lived it. That's what God wants from us all. And so remembering how Levi was bold in his relationship with God, he wasn't ashamed. Uh, He wanted everybody to know how he loved God and who he was and where he stood. In that same way, on the on the family's request and on their behalf, I wanna honor them by doing this. If you want to give your life to God, as we just prayed that prayer, if you said, that's me, I wanna know God, I wanna meet my creator, I want to be in relationship with him, or if you said, I've believed in him, but I haven't really been living for him, if today you wanna make this statement, if you wanna confess Jesus as your savior and as your God, I wanna ask you right now to be bold, to stand up where you are and come up to the front of this room and just gather around the stage. Go ahead right now, just stand up and do that. All of you guys, Lewis Palmer students that are here, if you want to to make that commitment to God, just come down right now. We're gonna pray together again. Come on, just come on up. Don't be ashamed, be bold. I want you to stand and make this declaration because again, it's not just a prayer. It's a change of life, it's a change of heart, it's the change of who you are. You guys, this is amazing. People are still coming, just come on. Awesome. No one really knows how exactly it works um, after someone's left the earth and is in heaven, but I, I prayed today and said, God, could you let Levi look down and see this? And I, I think that he is. And I think that Levi, as he sees his friends down here giving their lives to the God that he loved and served, I think he's just flipping out. I think he's so excited. And I think he says, hey, I'm willing to give my life if it helps to bring my friends to know God. And so I know he's honored. You guys, even right now in the midst of suffering and grief, this isn't, you know, it doesn't doesn't mean that all the sadness goes away. We, We grieve that we've lost a brother, but, this could be a day that your life is transformed forever and changed and that's a beautiful thing. It's amazing and it's wonderful and everyone in this room is standing up right now in honor of what you're doing. And so we're all one big family, we're all children of God and when this life ends, we will be together forever, forever and ever and it's gonna be amazing and it's, it's beyond what we can comprehend. That is the reality. But this is what I want you to know. This isn't just for after you die. It's for now. It's for, it's for life here and now. It's the reason Levi was the most incredible person that you've met because he lived for God and you can too. You can be that way. So I wanna pray with you. I, I want you just to be able to have the opportunity